We have a couple mufflers and a resonator. In the past, we've cut a muffler in half, but it was a glass packet. We want to do it again, but with something that's a little bit more traditional, which makes me wonder, will a muffler work on the air cannon? Or my mouth. Mufflers typically work by bouncing around sound waves inside of a chamber so that they hit each other and cancel each other out. Side note, what happened to your eye? What are you talking about? Is that from the air cannon last week? It was not from the mango out of the air cannon. It was from a banana. Okay, Mitchell's mouth is first up. We'll do a decibel meter about a footish away. Okay. 116. I'm impressed. Thank you. Next up is the muffler. We'll do about a foot away again. Go. 96. A resonator's purpose is to adjust the frequency that your engine, of the sound that your engine makes, making it a more pleasant sound. So I guess this test is see if... Is my scream more pleasant? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll do about a foot away. <laughs> It actually made it quieter, 98. Was it more pleasant? I think it was less pleasant. <laughs> it was a wrong resonator for my frequency. Yeah, it just, we didn't have a good match. This one we're calling the uh, French muffler. Okay, and go. 96. Uh, so what have we learned from our first test? I don't remember any of the numbers, so. Mufflers do be mufflin. Now our air cannon is insanely loud. I measured it and it was 128 decibels a couple feet away from the nozzle. For comparison, our water jet one foot away from the nozzle is about 125 decibels, which is still really loud and would like blow your eardrums. So that's why we don't stand that close. But the air cannon is louder. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> this is safe. Out of your I think I'm ready. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. 123, I think we made it quieter. But you also were blown away. <laughs> you probably oh. got the loudness from when it left oh. the barrel. <laughs> Dan's like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? <laughs> I was like, you'll probably blow it off. He's like, blow what off? Uh, I think next step is just cutting it in half. <laughs> where does it hurt, Dan? Show me on the doll where it hurts. <laughs> right where you, you would expect it to. <laughs> <sighs> Unlike the air cannon, you know what won't hit you below the belt? Raycons, and that's why they are the sponsor of today's video. Now while I catch my breath, Mitchell's gonna tell you about them. I like to use my Raycons to tune out Gen Z. Yeah, so let's dig in if we get that channel on TikTok. Then we can get The new Everyday Earbuds have a new rubber oil look and optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. So I don't have to listen to Neil talk about these dudes, Pudepi and Charlie D'Amelio. Raycons have eight hours of playtime and 32 hour battery life. There's also a built-in mic so you can take phone calls at the press of a button. Raycons start out about half the price of other premium brands, but they sound just as good. There's no reason not to try them because they come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. We've been talking about Raycon for over a year now. If you haven't tried them out yet, what are you waiting for? Just do it! Go to the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash waterjet and get 15% off your order right now. Do it! Now that I've recovered, we've got this set up so we can shoot the nozzle into the inlet and see if it makes the water jet quieter. And then if it does, we can use this in the future to just make the shop quieter. I expected it to hold up a little bit longer, but we uh, topped out at 128, which is louder than it was without it. So, sorry. I don't think we've got a solution. Mitchell hid in the office because it was loud. It was loud. It hurts my ears. Oh, we got multiple pipes. We got pipes and pipes. Ooh. So this one, we are told, comes from a RAV4. Huh. 
Uh, tacos for lunch. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so how this works is they shoot the sound in here and then the I sound mean, just goes places. It's more than just the sound. It's like all the exhausties. Oh yeah, that too. Sound comes in here and then it's got a bunch of different chambers. It looks like they've got chambers separated with these kind of bulkhead type walls. And then the sound goes through these tubes and eventually it works its way to one end of the muffler and then comes out this pipe, which then leads out your tailpipe. You could say I'm baffled <laughs> by the construction. Which one's the chamber of secrets? So now that we've learned how mufflers work and have seen it for ourselves, it's behind you. Oh. Let's cut the resonator and see how that differs. Yeah, that was just very I guess we'll never know. Ooh, it's got a tiny connection there. So resonator just looks a lot like a glass pack. It's just a small glass pack. Cool. So the resonator typically goes before your muffler. The resonator adjust the frequency so it doesn't have like a drone. You know the kind of drone I'm talking about. Yeah, kind of like your wife. So that is how your car exhaust works. But if you really want to know how a car exhaust works, then you probably shouldn't be watching our channel. What is this supposed to be? We're just two idiots in a shop cutting stuff in half, so. Should we change the channel name? Yes. <laughs> two idiots, yeah. one shop. Side note, remember when we started a car channel? I do. That was weird. Should we do that again? I don't know. <laughs>